the Shenyang J-8, whose NATO reporting name is Finback, marks a new milestone in Chinese aviation history. Still in service, this jet was initially developed as an interceptor. Over time, the aircraft gradually evolved into a multi-role fighter. Today, we're investigating the J-8, China's Slender Dragon. The J-8, a nearly 60-year-old warbird, is not naturally among the current stars of the Chinese aviation industry. However, it played an essential role in this adventure. Due to its excessively long fuselage, the Chinese has given the jet many nicknames such as Human Rocket and Flying Pencil. Sometimes, they also refer to it as Se Guanqian in the sky, referencing a well-known local installation artist. The history of this fighter dates back to the early days of the US involvement in the Vietnam War. Now, the US B-52s and F-105s flew near China's southern border and the People's Liberation Army Air Force, or PLAAF in short, had no interceptors to handle them. In response, on May 17, 1967, Beijing tasked Shenyang with developing a new aircraft designated as J-8. This company was the first producer of the J-7, the Chinese version of the MiG-21. Building on this experience, Shenyang began designing the J-8, which resembled the Mikoen Grevich YE-152A, a twin-engine experimental aircraft also based on the fish bed. Two WP-7A turbofan engines powered the J-8, which is the Chinese version of the R-11F-300 used in the MiG-21F-13. With this design approach, the aircraft posed a lower technical risk and immediately gained political support. It competed with Chengdu's J-9, which was eventually cancelled in 1980. The initial phase advanced rapidly as Beijing had prioritized it highly. Shenyang assembled the first two prototypes in July 1968 and the J-8 made its maiden flight on July 5, 1969. However, the destructive effects of the Cultural Revolution, which began in 1966, ultimately impacted the aviation industry, causing a prolonged delay. Until 1979, Shenyang produced one additional prototype and these aircraft conducted 1,025 flight under the test program, staying airborne for a total of 633 hours. One of them crashed during a trial. The Chinese engineers had not been able to meet all the initial requirements. They could install only a rangefinder radar. Nevertheless, in March of the following year, the PLAAF accepted the J-8 into service. The aircraft's armament consisted of two 30mm cannons and five hardpoints, two on each wing and one under the fuselage. The Finback could launch only the short-range PL-2B air-to-air -air missile, a reverse-engineered version of the K-13. In fact, this Soviet weapon itself was derived from the US AIM-9B Sidewinder. As a result, the J-8 was comparable to interceptors from the 1950s and 1960s, lacking all-weather and night-fighting capabilities. China produced only about 50 aircraft. Its first photographs were published in 1984. At that time, Western sources believed it was never operational, but was used solely for testing. Shenyang had already started working on its more advanced variant in 1978. Also known as the J-8A or J-8-1, this version featured the SR-4 radar, an extra pylon on each wing, and a twin-barrel 23mm Type 23-3 cannon, replacing the two 30mm guns. It could launch the semi-active radar-guided PL-7 medium-range air-to-air missile, which is the Chinese reverse-engineered version of the French R-550 Magic. With all-weather combat capability, the J-8A made its maiden flight in 1981 and entered service in 1985. Shenyang produced 31 new aircraft and some earlier J-8s were upgraded to these standards. The first generation of the J-8, with the NATO reporting name of Finback A, also had several other variants. The J-81E was an improved version of the J-8A with upgraded avionics, including the JL-7 radar. The J-8ACT was a J-8A aircraft modified into the active control technology testbed for domestic analog and later digital fly-by-wire control systems. It crashed on April 23, 1991. 
The JZ-8 was the reconnaissance variant fitted with camera pod mounted on the center hardpoint. China retired all first-generation J-8s in 2011. The design work on the J-8-2 began in 1982 and resulted from the modernization of the J-8-1. Only its J-8-F, J-8-G, J-8-H and J-Z-8-F variants are still operational, which we will mention later. Shenyang redesigned approximately 70% of the jet's components. Also known as the J-8B, this second-generation aircraft has a NATO reporting name of Finback B. Its distinctive appearance sets it apart from its predecessor. Chinese engineers relocated the air intake from the nose to the sides, which allowed space for the more powerful Type 208 radar with a large antenna mounted in the nose. This modification also improved airflow with the new WP-13A turbofans, which delivered increased thrust. This engine is the Chinese version of the R-13-300 used on the MiG-21 MF. Western sources claim that China acquired several MiG-23 from Egypt and incorporated some of the technical solutions from these aircraft into the J-8-2. For example, the new air intakes are very similar to those used on the Flogger. Additionally, the aircraft features a folding ventral vertical stabilizer, a design clearly taken from the MiG-23, whereas the J-8-1 had two non-folding ones. The J-8-2 made its maiden flight in June 1984 and serial production commenced in 1988. The airframe is primarily composed of lightweight aluminum alloys and specialized steels, with titanium alloys explicitly used in the engine base. Each mid-mounted delta wing has a leading edge sweep angle of 60 degrees and features two-segment, single-slotted trailing edge flaps located inboard of the aileron. The control surfaces, which are actuated with hydraulic assistance, are constructed from aluminum honeycomb sandwiched between aluminum sheets. The cockpit is equipped with air conditioning and the aircraft includes electronic warfare systems. The J-8-2 requires a runway length of 630 meters for takeoff. To reduce the landing distance, a brake parachute can be deployed and four aerodynamic brakes situated beneath the fuselage are also utilized. With these measures, the landing distance of the aircraft is 900 meters. The J-8-2 is capable of executing maneuvers up to 4.7 g. The single-seat J-8-2 has a length of 21.59 meters a wingspan of 9.34 meters, a height of 5.41 meters, and a wing area of 42.2 square meters. The aircraft's empty and maximum takeoff weights are 9,820 and 17,800 kilograms, respectively. Two 65.9 kN WP-13A afterburning turbojet engines provide a top speed of Mach 2.2. The J-8-2 has a range of 2,200 kilometers. Its combat radius is 800 km. The Finback B service ceiling is 20,000 meters, equivalent to 65,620 feet. The aircraft has one 23mm twin barrel Type 23 3 cannon and seven hardpoints. It can carry the PL 2 and PL 7 air to air missiles, bombs, and rocket pods. The J-8B Block II was a modernized version of the J-8-2 equipped with the new KLJ-1 radar that enabled the launch of the PL-8 and PL-11. These air-to-air -air missiles were Chinese variants of the Israeli Piton III and Italian Aspide, respectively. Also known as the J-8-2B, the aircraft included an onboard computer, navigation and communication systems, a Chinese-made head-up display, active jamming equipment, and a radar warning receiver. The J-8-2A, also known as the J-8D, was developed from the J-8B Block II. The People's Liberation Army Navy Air Force, or PLA-NAF, operated this version. It featured an in-flight refueling system, which extended the aircraft's combat radius to 1,200 km and incorporated more advanced navigation systems. The J-8-3, also known as the J-8C, featured numerous improvements. As the Chinese version of the Israeli Alta EL M2034, its Type 1471 Doppler Pulse Fire Control Radar enabled the launch of PL-12 air-to-air missiles. This variant was equipped with the more powerful WP-14 Quinlun turbofans. 
However, the PLAAF regarded the new engine as unreliable and subsequently cancelled the project. Still operational, the J8F and H are multi-role fighters rather than interceptors. The J8F is based on the J8C and features the Type 1473 radar enabling the launch of PL-11 air-to-air -air missiles. The J8H is an evolution of the J8D. The aircraft features the Type 1492 radar and can carry PL-11 air-to-air -air missiles and YJ-91 anti-radiation missiles. Some J8Bs and Ds have also been converted to the F and H standards. Based on the J8H, the J8G serves as the suppression of enemy air defense variant. It features a reinforced central wing attachment point designed to carry the YJ-91 anti-radiation and KD-88 air-to-ground missiles. Additionally, it features a frequency measurement antenna cover located under the fuselage. The JZ-8F is the reconnaissance version of the J8F featuring a camera in place of the cannon. In the 1980s, China gained access to many US technologies. Taking this opportunity, Shenyang planned to develop a new variant known as the J82M, which incorporated numerous advanced systems, including the AGP-66 radar from the F-16A and the LN-39 inertial navigation system. Although two aircraft were sent to the US for integration work, the 1989 Tiananmen Square incident led to the decline in relations between the two countries, resulting in the cancellation of the project. Later, Shenyang applied some advanced Russian subsystems to the JA-2 for export markets. However, this variant also failed to gain much attention. The JA-T was a slightly improved export version of the JA-8F, also unsuccessful in being exported. The J-82ACT served as a testbed aircraft for a digital fly-by-wire control system featuring small canards on the air intake trunks. The export version of the J-8 was known as the F-8. Iran was the only country that considered acquiring this aircraft at the time as it had no other options. However, when Iraqi MiG-29s, Mirage F-1s, Su-24s and Su-22s defected to Iran in 1991, Tahran no longer needed to purchase new combat jets. The only significant operational incident involving the J-8 occurred in April 1, 2001. A Finback B deliberately collided with a US Navy EP-3E Ares II Signals Intelligence aircraft roughly 70 miles southeast of Hainan Island. The J-8 too crashed and its pilot tragically lost his life when its parachute failed to open. The severely damaged EP-3E had to make an emergency landing on Hainan. As noted, China retired all first-generation J-8s in 2011. This year also marked the start of the decommissioning of the second generation. The aircraft, which are still operational, now mainly serve in reconnaissance and electronic warfare roles due to their poor maneuverability. China has made gradual progress in developing its aviation industry. Firstly, it produced the first-generation fighters under license. Then, it created the second-generation Q5 by modifying the MiG-19. The next logical step was to develop a third-generation combat jet, the J-8. The fourth-generation J-10 followed it. Today, the J-20 and J-35 are flying in the sky. The journey has been challenging, marked by numerous subpar products and harsh criticisms including insults directed at the reverse engineering approach. Nonetheless, the results are significant. The USA now considers China as its main technological rival rather than Russia or Europe. As a crucial part of this development, the J-8 deserves recognition as a legendary aircraft. Thanks for watching our video. And please don't forget to subscribe to our channel and click the bell button to be notified of our new videos. Also, you can now click the join button to support our channel. And as always, we would greatly appreciate all of your likes, comments and shares.